Welcome to Yours in Education, and on this lesson we're going to learn how to arrange decimal numbers to the hundreds from least to greatest. What do we have here? We have a lot of numbers, this is like a number soup, and we have to arrange them from least to greatest. But before we start, you need to know something very important. If you see this model, this model is 20 hundreds. If it was complete, it will be one whole, but we only see 20 out of 100, 20 hundreds filled out, which means that this is 20 hundreds. On this model, which are equivalent, if you compare these two, are the same, but the models are different, we have two tenths. In decimal number, you write two tenths as 0 0.2. Before we move on, it's very important that you know that two tenths is equivalent to twenty hundreds. Two tenths is equivalent to twenty hundreds. Now let's start. Okay, I have number one. This is the least, and I have to look for a small number. Which could it be? Well, I have zero point seventy. That looks like big. One thirty-six. That's even larger. 60. I'm gonna start. I like to organize my stuff here before I commit to one number. So 1.1. Remember that this is like 1 1.10, one whole and ten hundreds. 1.30. Okay. Look, I found some that are equivalent. I have six tenths, and if you remember, this is equivalent to 60 hundreds. These are one whole, so that's larger, large number, 46, which is larger than 0 0.4 because this will be what? 40 hundreds. It's one whole. Okay, okay, I found a small number. I have three hundreds, so that's pretty small. And then I have 61, I will put it here, 130. Okay, I found another two that are equivalent. 0 0.4 is equivalent to 40 hundreds. 4 tenths is equivalent to 40 hundreds. So I have 8 hundreds, 25 hundreds, it's looking good. And then I have, I'm gonna put, I can change this later on, but I think for now I'm gonna put these 4 tenths and 40 hundreds here. Then I see 46 hundreds. Then I'm gonna go to the 60s, six tenths equivalent to 60 hundreds. Then I have seven tenths, which will be equivalent to seven. Oh, here it is, 70 hundreds. And then I have, what do I have? Oh, 61. So I have to rearrange these two. I have 61 hundreds here. What else? Nine. This will be like 90 hundreds. This will be the smallest one because it's just one whole and eight hundreds. And then I have one whole and one tenth, which is equivalent to what? Can you figure it out? If you said this one, you are correct. Now we have 115. We have, should we put this? Can you tell me what is this equivalent to? 1.5 is equivalent to what? Yes, 1.50, so that's very large. So we have, what do we have here? One whole and 29 hundreds, one whole and three tenths, which is equivalent to one whole and 30 hundreds, 136, and last but not least, 1.5. This is one whole and five tenths, so it's like one whole and a half. So now you know how to arrange decimal numbers from least to greatest, and you're gonna have a math challenge where you have to arrange 10 numbers. So let's get to it. <laughs> 